Okay, so in the E shape, we, we did the E shape. So we're going to play the root of the E shape, the 3 5 of the C shape. Let's just get back to the focus of the lesson and not get in too deep, which is what we were doing with the Lydian and the Mixolydian. That's a subject in itself. Are we going to actually play the, the 4 6 root or are we going to do a substitution? It's so much easier to do a substitution of the C shape at that point, let's say, or whatever the whatever the fourth is if you're doing Lydian, whatever the fifth of that of the cage shape is, and that's what the tripentatonics are. So these string shapes are gonna be the same. You're gonna see with the E, you're gonna see the root on every string shape. With the A, you're gonna see the fifth on every string shape for the triad. The D, you're just gonna see the third. The G, you're just gonna see the root. The C, you're going to see 3, 5, okay? And the E, you're always going to see the root. So let's look at the D string shape. D, once again, you're just going to see the third there. A, you just see the fifth. E, you're just seeing the root. C, you're seeing both the C, 3, 5, and G, you're seeing the root. Let's look at the C string shape. C, what do we got? 3, 5, G, just the root. D, just the third. A string shape, just the fifth. E string shape, just the root. C string shape, three and five. Let's go to the A. A string shape, just the five. E is just the root, as is the G is just the root. So the rest of it's string shape fitting. But if you know what you're looking for, you don't have to worry about where did it fit in right away. Just know what you're going to play next, okay? So that, that's how it go, does. So if, if there's a background track and it's playing and you're just sitting on this fifth here, okay, so it's just a G, you know, you know, the background tra track is playing. shape right because you're gonna do but you don't want to do that pentatonic you want to do the tri triads right so you want to do that a shape well everybody can play the chord everybody can arpeggiate the chord so you guys playing down here okay so we're here on this five on the a shape Okay, well, actually, if we're playing a G down here, okay, it's going to go to A shape G to G shape G, okay, to E shape G. So that's an E, sorry, that's an E shape G. So everybody can do this. So you're like. But have you ever felt stuck in this? Like, okay. What's really going on here? Why can't I do a nice arpeggiation? We can. The A shape, we're going to play the five. Okay, the fifth of A, and we're gonna look at this. We're, we're looking right here. This is what I'm doing to get all these other guys out of the way and look at this. The A shape is the fifth. A shape goes to E, that's just the root. String shape fitting straight above it. Okay, E shape's gonna go to the C shape, both three five on that C shape. C shape's gonna go to G shape. G shape, we're just gonna play the root. Okay, fifth of G is D shape. We're gonna play the third. Now it's now we gotta watch out for some shape fitting here. We did a D here. We're gonna go to the G shape. We have to warp up one, okay? Because it it's a brick wall at that point, but the but the top the top brick wall's got to be shifted over because we're going to have a little ledge or something. So in the D shape, what are we going to play? That that strange third. Here's the D shape. That's what we've got going on here. So please, 
remember these shapes they're the same the uh, where the the triads lie because we can use these same triad shapes to substitute for the fourth and by the way furthermore we can substitute the tri the the pentatonic shapes which would be up here we can use these to play the relative minors so the the second relative minor the dorian we could substitute the pentatonic of the fourth for the Phrygian third relative minor, uh, third minor rather, um, we can substitute the pentatonic for the fifth, and within the the major pentatonic of each one of the minors is the triad for that minor. So that's something that that comes along with all this. So the triad for the G is just here, same thing. G is the root. D is the third. A is the fifth, E is the root, again, but it's it's shaped different, right? It's, it's in a different place, and C is the third and the fifth, and G is the root. So that's it for today's lesson. Um, Want to get to working on posting it, and I thank you for watching. We'll obviously have more on this chart next lesson. I think you're all doing great. If you got this far, you're going to go far with guitar. We'll see you next time.